Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to play the very last um, match of the Championship, Skybet Championship. So as you've, um, little, let me start again, as you will remember from the previous episode if you've watched it, we are not having a very good um, season, so let's have a look at the schedule. Uh, we started off the season pretty badly. Now, the previous episode, we finished on the match with Swansea, I think. We, we went off to win the next three matches. Uh, but yeah, it's been a mixed experience still. A little bit better, maybe, than before February. But yeah, not, not great. However, we are in 20th at the moment with one match to go. If we draw we should be safe as long as QPR doesn't win by a big margin um, yeah we, we really need to win this really but there are a few outcomes so it's it, it's very hard to predict what's going to happen I have already selected the team so we're going to go with Tom Yates at goal uh, Rico and Anthony on the uh, sides of the fence with Brad Hills and Harkness in the center. Then we're going to play with um, Andy as halfback. Sometimes these names, I can't remember them or I can't pronounce them. Simon and uh, Thorne like uh, the center of the midfield with Pickering and Noon at the sides and Miles to head off. Um, one of the issues that we're having this season is that our midfield and the final four actually and the midfield aren't very good this season the defense is actually not doing too bad but the attack isn't scoring especially the right wing is left wingers uh, shadow striker if we look at our team report and uh, analysis we are passive but clinical so we don't create a lot of chances but we do score them when we do create chances about um, I was a bit further last time I checked but yeah nearly 14% uh, percent conversion rate but we're not creating many chances in the game as far as conceding we are very busy very busy but we're not letting those shots um, being converted into goals our goalkeeper is doing very well by the way um if you look at the tactics one again, once again, uh, 7.15 average rating. I mean, Vince hasn't played really. He could potentially be better, but I've I've, I've gone with Tom Yates for this season and potentially sell him off or swap. Yeah, we'll see what happens next season. But yeah, anyway, let's let's um, carry on. Finances are looking terrible. We want to hold on to the championship, um, but. It all hangs on this one match. I believe it's a televised match as well. Well, actually, are all of them televised? I think all of them are televised because we're in the championship. Some of them get extra, um, extra rights. So extra TV um, rights for some reason. I can't remember why. But, um... I think all of them are televised because it's the championship. Okay. Now we're losing, but as long as QPR are also losing, or even if they draw, yeah, that should still be fine. Okay, Pickering's out injured. So let's put Santosh in. recovery there but yeah keep uh, QPR are drawing so 
So far, we're fine. We're safe. But I'd prefer if we would be at least level. Oh, that's a poor shot. Really poor shot by Santos. Oh, yeah, there's no defending that. There's really no defending that. Now, this puts us in a little bit of danger if QPR win, but actually QPR are losing at the moment. So it's all good. The reason I said this puts us in danger is because our goal difference with QPR is two. Um, so, say, if we lose 2 0 and they draw, then. No, sorry. If they lose 2 0 and they win 1 0, that's game over for us. So, let's get Simon out because he's having a really bad day at the office. Um. Max Clark. Let's let's do that. Max Clark got distracted there, so he was completely out of position. That's not good. Okay, we got one back in. This is only going to help us if QPR wins, although we don't want them to win. We want them to lose or draw. In fact, how many points do we have now? Um, your table's disappeared. Um, I can't remember if QPR win. Do we draw on points? I can't remember now. I think we did. I think that's what I said earlier. Oh, a bit of confusion there. Corner. Okay, they're back level, and we're down one man due to injury. So QPR are back level. That doesn't affect the table though. Um, I don't think, but if they do win in the last few minutes, that could be game over for us. Let's see what the table says. Looks like QPR drew. We lost, but we still stayed in the championship. So we survived. Whoops, sorry. Um, Anthony got injured. Oh, the other thing was as well, Dodds injured himself again after coming back from injury. So he barely got to play this season. Let's see how many games he actually got to play. Um, Selection info. Nine games and 15. Sorry, nine games and five. So, hmm, it's all right. But yeah, he was out most of the season. They get massive bonuses because we avoided relegation. That's not going to do very well for our finances. 
finances are terrible. Okay, so let's see if we get any end of season fan reviews and awards, all of that jazz. So the review goes like this. No one really did well this season for us. That doesn't surprise me. Okay, so we've made no prize money this season and a lot more money on everything else. So we should have made a lot more money, but this means that we're spending money on stuff as well. We're spending more money this season on stuff. Dodge is no longer the biggest shirt, but that's because he didn't play. <coughs> yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It's got one manager player of the year last year. Um... Okay, Ian Johnson. Oh, that's received. Okay, yeah, he's gone to Charlton in the 23s. Fans player of the season, the goalkeeper. Young player of the season, Miles. Last chance for him to win that. Signing of the season, Finley. Most goals, Miles. Top goal scorer, Miles. Most assists, Jack Pickering. Most man of the match, Tom Yates. Highest rating, Tom Yates. And no surprise there, with the halfback with most passes completed per 90 minutes. Okay, we have actually a decent budget, half a million. I'm not sure where they're going to get the money for that, but fair enough. Okay, so we're going to expand the stadium again. That's good news. That means the board is going to take the initiative to expand the stadium. And... Remain in the sky bed, fight bravely. I'm going to negotiate and get rid of some of these. Um, okay, so nothing big except the fact that the board seemed to be committing to expanding the stadium. And that's, that's good news. Okay. Um, nothing dynamics wise. I'll skip the meeting for now. <coughs> yeah, he was away for 40% of the season, Mark Dodds. We also have our new youth intake as well. Um, so I moved quite a few players to the end of 23s. I still haven't sorted through them, so uh, I'll sort through them after the summer. And then the under 18s are all. Uh, I've sorted through them and sorted out their individual training as well. So this is this is like their potential goalkeeper. We've got we haven't really got much talent coming up as goal in the goalkeeper position, um, but we do have our own youth goalkeeper in the main squad, and I think he needs to be playing next season. Really, right? Must respond. So. Final thing for this, I think, will be the meeting. Um, da, da, da. Okay, I want, I'm going to bring in more people, but it doesn't give me that option to. It doesn't give me an option to say that. So it's been a long season. I hope you all have a good break. You're going to need to come back fully re refreshed because I think we're going to be in a relegation battle next time around, and you're all going to be to need to be at your best to stay up. Or oh, we've got this. The season's over, and it's time for you all to go and have a well-deserved break. After staying up, I want every single one of you to be fully rested in good condition when you get back 
though because we're going to be in for another relegation scrap next year. I think I'm going to go with this one because it celebrates the fact they stayed up. They're happy with that. I'm gonna, not going to make any promises because I never do. Okay, and I'm just going to space bar all the way to the end of May. Um, actually, all the way to the end of June, to be honest. And we should have an announcement soon that the board is going to expand the stadium. So that should be incoming, which means we won't be playing at home next season. We'll be playing elsewhere. That's going to have a knock on effect on our income. So that's only going to make matters worse. Although this might mean that the board are willing to invest some money in order to make that transfer budget realistic. Because at the moment they give me half a million pounds to spend, but no actual money in the bank. So <laughs> it's only going to make finances worse for the club. So I'm going to try not to spend that transfer budget. And they actually cut my wage budget because I had 3k. And now I'm under two pounds. So they've actually cut my wage budget for next year. Um, and that's so what I'm going to end up doing is transfer the transfer budget to the wage budget to make sure I can make some proposals to like free transfer players or whatever. So, yeah, so that's all for today. Um, join me again next uh, episode to um, start the second uh, our second go at the Skybet Championship. If you've enjoyed this episode, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified of the upcoming episodes. You can also check out the Patreon as well. And thank you for um, thank you to our only patron at the moment. You'll see the name in the credits. Take care and bye bye.